question for older children, adult children here, you know, those of us who have our own children. How are we with our older parents? Do we make time for them? Do we appreciate them? Do we sit and talk to them? Question for the younger children here. How do you support, help, and care for your mothers? Do you obey them? Do you honor them? Do you take care of them? Do you serve them? These are questions that at whatever age we are that we can think about and that we can always have time to make a difference, right? We don't wait till it's too late, but we start to make a difference now. Let's look at the next slide. Have you heard of WWJD, right? What would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? How would he treat people? 1 John 4, 16 and 17 says, God is love and all who live in love live in God and God lives in them. As we live in God, our love grows more perfect. For those of us who don't know how to love, the closer you get to God, He perfects that love. So, we will not be afraid on the day of judgment. Now, here's the scary part, right? Why do we need to do this? Why do we need to love? Because one day, every one of us will have to stand before our Maker. And just like He will ask parents, what did you do with the children that I gave you? He will ask husbands, what did you do with the wife I gave you? He will ask wives, what did you do with the husband I gave you? And he will also ask children, what did you do with the parents I gave you, right? We have a responsibility and we will one day have to answer to the Lord. But we who honor our parents, we who love our parents, we who do what God has called us to do can face him with confidence because we live like Jesus here in this world. Now, here's the catch. What happens in situations where you've had a terrible mother? Okay, let's look at the next slide. What if your mother was the one who was abusing you? What if your mother mother was neglecting you, right? What if your mother still is the person who hurts you the deepest, okay? There are many who've had to fend for themselves, right? Whose mothers have been too busy. There are many who will say, how can I love my mother? She beat me, she swore at me, she crushed my spirit, she hated me, she never did anything good for me. And you're saying God will judge me? You're telling me today that I need to get things right with God? What about my mother? What about the responsibility that my mother carries? She's the one who caused me this pain, but there is a but yet and it is what God says today God would remind you to forgive that mother to reach out to that mother to help that mother where possible and to even honor that mother you would ask but how that seems unfair that seems unreasonable that seems impossible how would I do that how would I honor this person who has caused me so much pain it's only once you have experienced God's love and grace in your life that you are able to do this you you can certainly do this once you hear and believe God's word that says you will be forgiven in as much as you forgive. And no matter what has happened to us in our life, if you still desire God's forgiveness, then you have to be willing to forgive. But you cannot do it in your own strength. You cannot do it unless you have experienced God's love. What is God's way? 1 John 4 16 says, we know how much God loves us and we have put our trust in his love. God is love and all who live in love live in God and God lives in them. And as we live in God, our love grows more perfect. See, that's how it happens. We can't do it in our own strength. But as we live in God, our love grows more perfect. 